The U.S. stocks climbed more than 11 percent on Tuesday in the best day since 1933 on signs that the Trump administration was nearing a deal on a gigantic stimulus package that could limit the economic failout of the coronavirus pandemic. Meanwhile, New York is getting hit hard by the novel virus. And regardless, Trump said he hopes to have the country reopened in just over two weeks, a timeline that is significantly sooner than what many public health experts have recommended. Could this have a further negative impact on the U.S. economy? Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. Besides the coronavirus news, on Wednesday, we'll also be looking at the UK CPI and the US durable goods orders data. Today, I'm looking at the pound-yen pair which unlike the pound dollar pair was supported at a key psychological level at 126 last week and it now appears to be bouncing up this level has acted as key support multiple times since 2016 and uh, now com this combined with the fact that the uk is taking coronavirus prevention and lockdown more seriously than the us could help the british pound bounce off a bit more if the pair is able to break above 131, we could see further gains towards 135, although the signal is not yet strong. Are you bullish or bearish on the British pound? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.